Hello, everyone. I'm Carl Caffarelli, the co-host of This Is Rock and Roll Radio with Dana and Carl, heard every Sunday night from 9 to midnight Eastern, right here in Syracuse on Spark, WSPJLP Syracuse, uh, 103.3, 93.7 FM, and on the web at sparksyracuse.org. I'm also a writer, and I'm working on a book called The Greatest Record Ever Made, Volume 1, dedicated to the notion that an infinite number of records, songs, can each be the greatest record ever made as long as they take turns. And they've got to take turns. That's what records do. The notion of the greatest record ever made began as a series of posts on my blog, my daily blog, Boppin' Like the Hip Folks Do, at carlcaffarelli.blogspot.com. And the very first song I ever covered in the Greatest Record Ever Made series was Baby Blue by Badfinger. Um, the reason that was first is clear to me. More than any other song, more than any other act among the many acts I've loved hearing on the radio, Badfinger embodies the ongoing story of my love affair with radio, of how much radio meant to me, of what my friend Dana Bond, co-host of This Is Rock and Roll Radio, calls the joy of radio, how much radio can mean, how, how wonderful it is to hear timeless, transcendent pop music on the radio and have it change your life. Badfinger ultimately means more to me in that context than even the Beatles, the Monkees, Chuck Berry, Ramones, anybody that you name. And much of that is a matter of timing or chronology. I was four years old in 1964 when the Beatles came to America, and I knew the Beatles. Everyone knew the Beatles. But in the early 70s, when I was in middle school, in my, in my late adolescence and early teens, that's when I really was paying attention to radio more than any time before then. I was a square peg kid. I had skipped fifth grade. I didn't really fit in at all in middle school. So radio may not have been my only friend, but it was certainly one of my one of my truest friends. And I had my head stapled to WOLF and WNDR AM here in Syracuse, the top 40 stations at the time. And I listened to all of it with ears wide open, eyes wide open, mind wide open. And it was a DJ on either WNDR or WOLF who introduced Badfinger saying, these guys sound like the Beatles. And they did. They were as good as the Beatles. And I love the Beatles. I, there's never been any band that challenged the Beatles for the title of my all-time favorite band. But in that moment, Badfinger was better than the Beatles. Badfinger, Badfinger gets compared to the Beatles a lot. They recorded for Apple Records, the Beatles label. Their first hit was written by Paul McCartney, Come and Get It. It was on the soundtrack for a movie, The Magic Christian, starring Ringo Starr. They played with George Harrison at the concert for Bangladesh. And um, George Harrison also played guitar and produced their hit, No Matter What. But they lived up to that title. They lived up to the challenge of being a band that could be compared to the Beatles. Now, their story was tragic. Uh, Pete Ham, who wrote their hits, sang their hits, and their, their best-known material, killed himself in 1975 out of utter frustration with the way the music industry was treating the group. Much later, Tom Evans in 1983 also killed himself. Mike Gibbons passed of natural causes in 2005. Joey Malland, God bless him, is still with us and still making music. The first time I ever saw Joey Malland, I've had the pleasure of seeing Joey a few times live, um, was in the early 90s at a, a nightclub in Syracuse called The Pump House. And again in 2004, um, he played with a uh, with the members of Screen Test and also with the, the Fab Five, uh, a couple of local bands. It had Screen Test, Gary Frenet, Artie Lennon, and Tommy Allen were playing in both groups. The night before that show, Joey Mellon uh, jumped on stage at a Screen Test show, unplanned and unannounced, and did a couple songs with them. And that is that remains one of my all-time favorite concert memories. Uh, Joey has a new album out called Be True to Yourself. We'll be hearing a track from that this Sunday night on This Is Rock and Roll Radio. And it is wonderful that he's still out there, still living up to the legacy of this great music that meant so much to me and still means so much to me. It is magic, magic stuff. But nothing can ever replace what Baby Blue meant to me. In a time when I needed the radio more than any other time before or since, that song was there for me, right alongside all the other things that I loved on the radio, whether it was Elton John, whether it was the Isley Brothers, Gladys Knight and the Pips, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, former members of the Beatles, Alice Cooper, Slade. Badfinger was there. These guys sound like the Beatles. And I can't escape using the line. And I apologize for the obviousness. 
but it's inescapable. I guess that's all I've got to say. Hope you'll join me next week. We have a little Halloween special talking about a record local to Syracuse that should have been known to everyone. A song called The Transylvania Twist by Baron Demo and the Demons. Down below, you can see options to subscribe and support. Um, there's a tip jar and links to my blog, Bop and Like the Hip Folks Do. And we'll be back next week for another exciting episode of The Greatest Record Ever Made. Thanks for joining us.